week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Kiko Martinez, Josh Warrington. What a fight. Josh Warrington came out like a man possessed, swinging, swinging, and stinging. And you know what he did? He bust the eye open of Kiko Martinez, sending him to the canvas in round one. He was faster. He was sharper by round two. Uh, Martinez, actually, I think he fouled him in round one to buy more time because I think this could have been a first round KO okay either a first round TKO or a first round KO but the second round Kiko came back I think Josh Warrington ran out of steam by the second and third by the fourth Josh Warrington I think he was done then bracing himself and getting his stamina back Kiko Martinez was starting to throw these little short right uppercuts inside but they weren't enough he did throw some overhand rights they did hit on the on the on the sides of the head on the sides of the ear but I don't think it really got the respect of Josh Warrington because by the time Josh Warrington came back in rounds five, six, and seven, it was time to go because Josh Warrington closed the show with a TKO round seven. Great energy in this fight. This was another fight just like Lee Woods and, and, and Conlon was. It's just this was less dramatic and less time, okay? This ended in seven. They ended in 11 bars, but I do enjoy the fight. The energy was spectacular. I didn't go live for the fight because I had a lot of stuff to do. I had to train today, but I saw I wasn't sure if I was going to get back. Nonetheless, the, the the zone card was stacked. It was full of female boxers. I was, I uh, saw a couple of those fights, and I was surprised to see it's those fights still going on. So the card was stacked with a lot of preliminary fights. So I was able to see it from start to finish. Um, Josh Warrington becomes a two-time featherweight champion of the world uh, at age 31. He came out. He trained for it. You know there was a lot of hype in this particular fight. And Kiko Martinez just could not keep up. He was slower. He, wasn't, he, he couldn't get the timing down. And he just could not keep up. He couldn't. Because Warrington was putting it on him. It was like bees in the, uh, in, in the ring. It was bees in that squared circle, okay? And the bees represented the fist that Josh Warrington was swinging, okay? And Kiko Martinez just could not keep up. He could not keep swatting, and down he went. I think had, had he keep hit, I think he would have went down again. But that eye, I was concerned about that eye because that eye was jacked up. It was it was nasty. It was bloody. And you know, and if you notice in the seventh round, after the referee stopped the fight, which I believe it was a good stoppage. I give the UK uh, referees a, a lot of sticks sometimes, but this was actually a quick stoppage or a good stoppage, should I say, because of the, the condition that Kiko Martinez is. I was in okay so and he didn't complain at all normally you know you got these fighters that didn't want the fight stopped they pushed the ref and do all kind of crazy stuff he did not they helped him back to his corner so they can uh commence aiding that eye and seeing if he was okay from the amount of punches that he was hit from josh warrington i know he's feeling on cloud nine right now he said he's gonna go have sex with his wife it's been four weeks tmi whatever the guy was happy i'm proud of him the two-time featherweight champion of the world ibf style Josh Warrington, you guys tell me what you think about Josh Warrington stopping Kiko Martinez in round number seven. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.